don't make no sense, man. You know, the dish looks so good. I don't even have a intro for it. Let's just get into it. It's stewed chicken, y'all. Uh, 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 What's up, my YouTube fam lamb? On the menu today, we are having stewed chicken country style. It's about to be off the chain bomb. So, of course, here's our main ingredients. We have two cut up whole chickens here, the perfect size. These chickens were not too big, they were not too small, they were like the perfect size. So I got two whole cut up chickens here. Here's the seasonings that I'm using to um, flavor my chicken. We got the six pepper blend, garlic pepper, granulated garlic, sazon, creole. We have some French thyme, onion salt, and some salt free seasoning. So I already went ahead and mixed up all of my seasonings here in a cup. And here's a few other things that you will also need. I will show you guys um, as I go, what I'm doing with each and every ingredient. I have my nice big pot here. What I'm about to do is add a little bit of vegetable oil in this pot. And we are going to brown this chicken before we get to stewing it. Be back, y'all. All right, my YouTube fam. So, in our pot here, we have just some regular, regular vegetable oil. To the oil, I am going to add some butter. Yes, butter to the oil. Let that get nice and hot before I drop my chicken in. So I have just about, I don't know if you guys can see the amount of oil, just about that much oil. You could really use less. That's dry like a little too much oil. But We'll work it out, it's all good. So I'm gonna let that get nice and hot. I already went ahead and seasoned our beautiful whole chicken right here. Beautifully seasoned, beautifully seasoned. We're just gonna get a brown on those uh, chicken pieces. So let's get to laying them in. We are going to lay them in skin side first. Let's start with our breasts. Really don't, well, let's just add it all in. We got some thighs. We got some breasts. Okay. Don't crowd your pan. Don't crowd your pan. There we go. So we go sear that off in like two batches. So I got my first batch in there, y'all. And then I got my second batch. So I'm going to let this get a nice browning on it. And I will be back to show you guys exactly what it should look like. Be back. All right, you guys. I just wanted to um, tap back in uh, while I flip these just to show you guys that pretty golden brown. That nice and seared. We're not cooking it all the way because, of course, we are stewing this chicken. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna be careful. Don't be clumsy like me. Okay, this one turn. See, pretty golden brown. So we are just going to finish tearing these off. And then we are going to get to stewing. It's about to be so good, y'all. This one needs to probably be pulled in the middle. This one really ain't getting a lot of love. Let's rotate. There we go. Let those finish. There we go. Beautiful, 
seared chicken. I'm gonna let the other side fry. I'm gonna do my other batch and I'll be back when it's time to stew, y'all. Be back. All right, family, now for the fun part. Our grease is still on. I never turned the fire off. We have our beautiful ugh, browned chicken pieces right here, looking great and beautiful. We keeping the same energy. All that's in this pan is flavor. Do not discard none of this. It look crazy, but this is gonna help your um, stewed chicken build up so much flavor. So now, we're gonna add our peppers and onions that I already went ahead and uh, pre-sliced. Just a white onion and a bell pepper. All right, so let's add some of this in. And your um, vegetables are just going to help lift up some of that um, delicious residue at the bottom of the pan. So let's add this in, our onions, add as many onions as you like. If you don't like onions, skip this part. Just skip this part if you don't like it. Okay, so there we go. Onions are going to just cook down and the peppers are just going to cook down and it's going to give this dish tremendous flavor, y'all. I'm telling you. Another delicious comfort meal. Quick, simple, easy. Use whatever chicken pieces that you like. You know, if you want to use um, all thighs, use all thighs. If you want to go with like a... Um, a boneless, if you just want to use chicken breast, use chicken breast. I like to use the um, bone-in because why? Because the bone-in packs the most flavor. I like to leave the skin on because the skin packs a lot of flavor. And it's just going to make for a great stew. So we are just going to let these wither down, not too much because um, of course they're going to cook down where we add our liquid. But I just want to incorporate some of those seasonings at the bottom with my uh, vegetables. And as you can see, that seasoning at the bottom is already starting to lift up and jump on top of our veggies. So I'm just gonna get this stirred around just like this. Hope everyone is doing great today. Thank you so much. For tuning in as always I really appreciate you guys um, if you are a loyal subscriber and you tune in to your girl all the time thank you so much for tuning in I really appreciate it more than you know if you are new to the channel what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button and everyone don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you can know each and every time your girl uploads a video so look at that. So look, see the bottom? I hope you guys can see the bottom, but in some parts it's already, all that flavor is already lifted. Delicious. And that is butter and vegetable oil. So now, that's incorporated enough. We are going to go in with some minced garlic. And like I always say, y'all, I eyeball stuff. That's probably one third cup, if I had to say. It's probably one third cup I just added. So, listen, I heard somebody say something today. I was watching YouTube, and I forgot what uh, cook I was watching, but she was like, a recipe is nothing but a blank canvas, basically a, bru a blueprint for you guys. So basically, I'm giving you a blueprint. You take what you want and build it your way. Build up your flavors. Do this your way. You know, I'm just giving you the layout. You know, this is how I would do mines. This is how I do mines for me and my family. So you take this expertise and you add it into your own life. So now, what I'm about to add is two more heaping clots of butter. like that. Let's give that a good stir. See that? All that stuff is just about lifted from the bottom. Flavor. 
flavor. Flavor, baby. You don't even have to add any browning uh, seasoning. Look, it's already brown. It's already stewed. Look at that. Already nice and brown. That uh, gravy. Well, you really can't call it a gravy yet, but y'all get my direction. So now, let's add in our beautiful chicken pieces. I almost forgot what they was. Okay, let's add in our beautiful chicken pieces. Try to combine this up. Oh my goodness. Why is it looking good already, y'all? Why? So. Boom. Just like that. Now. We got all of our seasoning. We got our onions. We got our peppers. We got our beautiful uh, brown chicken in there. Our garlic. We got our butter. Now. Let's go in with some water. Because now it's time to stew these bad boys. And boom. Perfect amount. Give it another stir. Make sure everything is just well incorporated before we set it and forget it. Mm-hmm. Now, what you want to do, you guys? Pretty simple. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this cook for about an hour, and then I'm going to come back to taste it to see how, you know, to see how our flavor's doing. I may have to add a little bit more seasoning. Also, what I'm going to do at that point, I'm going to add in a slurry, a cornstarch slurry, so we can um, thicken up that gravy, and we will be rocking and rolling, y'all. So stay tuned. I'll show y'all the next step. All right, my YouTube fam. So my chicken let me make sure you guys can see it my um chicken has been stewing or cooking for about an hour now so i really don't want to bring him bring it all the way out but it is like basically falling off the bone like already but i really don't want it to shred apart so i'm really not going to disturb it like that but it is cooking up beautifully. I taste the broth. The broth is seasoned to perfection. Because I was going to add some, um, like if it needed more seasoning, I was going to add some beef base to it just to like boost up that flavor. But we don't even need that. So, let's go in with some tomato paste. We are going to add some tomato paste. I'm going to add two heaping tablespoons full. That's all I want of that in there. And I'm also going to go in with my slurry. This slurry is just cornstarch and beef. Did I use beef stock or broth? And beef broth. So it's cornstarch and beef broth. So we are also going to go in with this. This is going to thicken everything up nice and beautifully. Here we go. We are going to give this a nice good stir. Really gentle, gentle. We don't want to break our chicken up into a million pieces. But that's why it's important. See, I didn't even have to re-season anything. That's why it's important to, um, before you brown your chicken, to um, season it well. Then you don't have to worry about any seasoning there on after. So, that is thickening up beautiful. That is thickening up already. I'm in such an awkward position. I need a different spoon probably. I want y'all to see it's thickening up already. So y'all, now what we go do, so we gave this a nice good stir. Has that nice brown color. And remember, we didn't add any browning seasoning, y'all. That's just from that chicken browning at the bottom, getting that nice, beautiful brown crust. So now, let's turn our fire down, because we were on, we were still on like really a high. We're on high heat. 
let's take this heat all the way down to a low, here we go, to a nice low simmer. We are gonna let this finish cooking for about, so it's been cooking already for about an hour. Let's let this go for another 45 minutes or so, and this should be exactly where we need it to be. I'll be back to show you guys the finished product. Put your, um, don't forget to put your lid on. So we're gonna make us some rice, and we are going to show you guys the finished product. I'm so ready for this flavor. Okay, my YouTube fam, here is the finished product. Stewed chicken flavor, flavor, flavor train. Cornbread, some nice sauteed Brussels sprouts. Let's add in some more gravy on that. This is our star of the show, y'all. Let's add in some more gravy. Oh my God. I just poured some gravy in a nice cup so I could just drip that for y'all. Woo! Y'all, it's about to go down. Oh, hold on. My mouth watering. Listen, let me shut this out. Let me close this out. I gotta go. Um, love y'all as always. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Until the next time.